Hello Mindful Foodies, Inga from Health Origins here. So today a super exciting recipe, a Lithuanian recipe actually. I'm going to show you how to make this delicious apple cheese. So let's begin. So the first step you want to do, you want to peel and slice your apples. Um, I would suggest even if they are organic for this recipe, I think it works best if there are no skins on your apples. So this is two kilograms of apples that I've just weighed. So it's about 20 Brayburn apples um, that are cut up. And I've got here 300 grams of um, demerara sugar, so kind of uh, light brown sugar. Um, ideally, you want to probably use less refined sugar like rapadura, uh, but I didn't have any to hand, so I'm going to be going with demerara. Um, you could use white sugar as well if you wanted to, but obviously, you know, the least refined sugar, the better it is for your health. So this is 300 grams because Brayburn apples are quite tangy apples. So 300 grams will be good. If yours is slightly sweeter apple, like Gala, for example, then you might get away um, with, say, 250 or 200 grams of sugar. Um, or if you kind of want to go a little bit sweeter, you could go maybe 350, 400, up to 400 grams um, if your apples are quite tart. So yeah, so just kind of play around with the sweetness you like, but that's kind of approximate. Um, so what I'm going to do now, I'm going to place a layer of apples in my a big stainless steel pot. And now I'm going to do a layer of um, sugar as well. So what we want to do, we kind of want to layer all of the apples with the sugar to, um, to get the juices out of the apples. Uh, I'm gonna rest the like gonna let these rest overnight, or you could leave it for at least two three hours if you if you don't don't want to leave it overnight. Uh, but I'm gonna just leave them overnight. So I've layered all of my apples. I'm gonna just place the remaining sugar here on top, and that will prevent the oxidation as well a bit. So there you go. So. The apples are covered in sugar. They're gonna sit in this overnight. I'm gonna cover it with the lid um, and we'll check it um, in the morning when we're ready to cook this. So this has been 24 hours actually that these have been sitting with some, um, with some sugar on. And as you can see, it's actually uh, remained pretty um, light. I thought they're gonna be a bit more oxidized, but look how much juice uh, with sugar obviously that's there so what we need to do now we're gonna need to boil this for over an hour until they kind of nice and thickened um, and then that will be done but yeah it's a lot of boiling so literally I'm gonna put it on medium low and I'm gonna cook it um, until it's like really really thickened up so as you can see it's boiling starting boiling so we need to simmer now for probably an hour and a half for these to soften to, for the water to completely evaporate and absorb into the apples so mistakes to avoid is leaving your apples um, alone for too long. So this happened about at about 40 um, minute mark. Um, it was fine, fine. I mixed it about 10 minutes ago and then all of a sudden I just come and I can smell this burn. So I managed to save the apples here, um, which I'm going to continue um, cooking on a very low heat. Um, and I've kind of saved a little bit of more caramelized apples that we'll we'll have now But yeah, make sure you are kind of keeping an eye um, on your apples when you're cooking um, And then just you know put it on actually quite low heat just to make sure It's you know, this doesn't happen as in and as you can see the the apples are falling apart a bit and the sugar and the um, apples themselves, obviously, um, getting a little bit of a color, getting a little bit kind of golden. It'll get darker than this, 
um, the longer we cook, but basically it's still, it's still too thin. We still need to be cooking. We need to be cooking until when you kind of do this, this doesn't close up, you know, when you part the two sides, it stays exactly how you've done it. So this is still needs some cooking done. So let's have a little check. So as you can see, when you do this, it's still sliding in a little bit. It's close enough. So we're nearly there, but still need to um, to give it quite a few minutes. So I feel it's probably going to be another 10, 15 minutes and we might be good to go. So at this point, it's very Im important to actually keep on mixing quite often so that we don't get it burnt at the bottom. So let's have a look now. It's proper caramelly color as you can see much deeper much darker um, and let let me do this test so if you go like this it should not kind of slide into the middle and meet again as you can see it it hardly does that now so it's it's pretty much nearly ready maybe I'll give it another five minutes and that will be complete so I think this one is ready now. Have a look. It's hardly moving. So yeah, so we're gonna switch that off. I'm gonna take it off the heat. And then I'm gonna add one addition. So this is completely optional. Um, the original Lithuanian le recipe doesn't have it, but I've chopped up about 12 apricots into little pieces. And I'm gonna add them because they're gonna add a little bit of interest and a little bit it'll be like little marble pieces in my cheese. So I'm just gonna add them in and mix them through. If your apples didn't go into puree like mine and they are more, you know, a few small solid pieces and things, you know, then you might not need to bother because you'll have some interest through um, your apple cheese anyway, through uh, bigger pieces of apple left. But mine is pretty much gone to mush. There's quite soft apples, the Brayburn. So I've just added a few bits of apricot, um, dried apricot chopped up just for a little bit of interest. So I'm gonna just set up my camera properly so I could use both hands and I'm gonna show you what we do next. So I've got my nut milk bag. So this one is kind of um, synthetic but you could also use uh, natural material like cloth ones and also you could use um, muslin um, cloth or cheesecloth um, tripled for example you know so it's a little bit kind of sturdier so I'm gonna add all of my apple cheese or the puree into this nut milk bag you might want to let it cool just slightly if you know um, so that it's safer to handle but don't let it completely cool down because it's kind of setting when it's cooling. So let it cool just slightly, but not, not completely cool, cool down. So I've got my cheese here in the nut milk bag. And I'm gonna just kind of make it into more of a one corner. And I'm gonna twist it, twist it closed a bit. And I'm going to put it on um, a chopping board and I've got a slate uh, board here as well. Um, I'm going to just, actually I'm going to tuck this under so it doesn't open up. And we want to make some kind of shape with it. So we're going to go for um, just that kind of shape. I'm going to put this on top. You want to press it. So that's why I think it's called apple cheese because it's being pressed like cheese because you could use cheese um, cheese bag and cheese making bag as well for this that would be perfect if you've got cottage cheese bag um, 
So, and then I'm gonna put a liter of water just on top as a weight to just kind of weigh it down. And we're gonna leave this for probably um, 24 hours or at least overnight. So it's been 24 hours since I left this cheese pressing and let's have a little look. So yeah, so it's definitely obviously stiffened. So what normally happens in Lithuania at this point, now people would hang this um, cheese um, somewhere kind of from the ceiling in a nice warm place and let it dry out and mature naturally so at least two weeks apparently but the longer the better I would say probably a month two months is even good but um what I'm gonna do I'm gonna try and do that I'm gonna um, leave this hanging in my um, utility room or even in the kitchen because it's warmer um, you know for two weeks and then we're gonna try the results so here we have it I hung my um, apple cheese just above my cooker here because um, it should be warm enough with us heating stuff and it's just warmer in the kitchen in general because in our utility room is fairly cold so yeah, so I'm just going to keep this here for a couple of weeks and then we'll see what the result is. Exciting time. So my apple cheese has matured for two weeks. So let's have a little look what it's like. Just carefully going to open that up. looking beautiful it definitely kind of dried up more and matured like they say so there's a piece i'm gonna just take that out look at that it's beautiful nice so now i'm gonna slice a couple of pieces here For taste testers, I'll be perfect for taste testers. Look at that. That is beautiful. As you can see, a little pieces of um, our uh, peach here as well. Not peach, um, apricot, isn't it? That's what I've added. So yeah, that's one kind of separate piece. So you could probably take that off um really but yeah so this is our cheese it looks really good and then you can slice this one a little bit yeah that looks really good exactly like how i remember the apple cheese so i sliced a few other bigger slices look at that beautiful and as if by magic Ta -da! <laughs> i've got my husband to taste test this with me so apple cheese this one is actually proper it's exactly how we make it in lithuania and Lovely. it worked out really really good this is my piece <laughs> yeah it would be wouldn't it so let's give it a go Oh my god <laughs> mm. it's got just the right combination of sweet and sour this tiny bit of tanginess but it's mm. Mm, with sweetness it's quite smooth almost kind of jelly like but not mm. like mm. yeah it's the healthy lithuanian jellies mm. That's isn't it so good <laughs> i put a little piece of did you taste it i, I don't think Apric i did Apricot? No, no, there's other offcuts. Come on. We've got some offcuts here. Oh, you took this now. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Whoops. you dirty mint. So, yeah, there's pieces of apricot, mm. as you can see in there. Mm. Kind of tastes a little bit like firm. A little bit more, yeah, like a. Mm. But, yeah. Wow. 
this is absolute success guys if you intrigued uh, try it let me know what you thought of it um if 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 you like the video give us a thumbs up if you're new to the channel welcome and subscribe for more videos on wednesdays and sundays and as always remember food is fuel so be mindful of what you put in the body until next time bye guys